Around two years ago, this was an empty field not far from Ann Arbor. Today, this building is the Center for Engineering and Safety for Toyota North America, and it's where future vehicles built in the North American market will be engineered. Toyota rolled out the red carpet for invited guests from the U.S. and Japan as they held the dedication ceremony in the middle of a room that will be used to test the vehicles. Now, the Saloon High School Orchestra joined with the Ann Arbor Symphony with a special solo by a Toyota-designed robot. This robot will actually play the trumpet by reproducing vibrations of the human mouth. Now, this robot's a project that someday could actually go on sale. It may be your personal assistant someday. Now, when the time came, they had one of the longest ribbon-cutting ceremonies I've ever seen. On the count of three, with complete harmony, please cut the ribbon. One, two, three. Thank you. Now, you know when you have an event like this and you have major auto executives there, there's going to be a lot of questions about the business. And at this particular point, the business is not going all that well for anybody, Toyota included. So when might things turn around? You know, right now the industry is tracking at about 14.1. Last month was about a 12.5. So I I think you have to have different contingency plans based on what happens. If the industry continues at that 12.5 rate, it's probably going to end up around 13.8. If it continues a little bit stronger than that, it'll be somewhere in the low 14s, around 14. So it's it's a range right now of 13.8 to 14. We we are still planning today that it's going to be about a 14 million industry. What about next year? Uh, Right now the plan is going forward that it will be flat and we'll just have to see what happens. Now, despite all of the concern these days about the credit crunch, Lynn says customers who have good credit ratings are able to get loans. He says the biggest problem that he sees at Toyota is what's happening with consumer confidence. He says he's not sure when that's going to turn around. I'm AutoBeat reporter Jeff Gilbert.